Oh guys, unboxing today. We have the, um, what is it, Alison? King Kong magnet? It's the King Kong um, magnet. It's a starter kit um, that you can purchase from BCF. And we're gonna unwrap that and see what's inside. Comes in as, comes as a kit. So it comes with all bits and pieces. So we're gonna unwrap that and see what they've got in there. Great, Alison. And what have we got here? Two grapple hooks? Yes. From eBay? No, not from eBay. Ordered online? Ordered online. Um, I've forgotten the name of it, but I'll put it in the link where we get that from. And we've got the big 1500kg magnet. Haven't opened it yet. It's been sitting with us for the last two weeks. And uh, let's start off with Allison's King Kong okay. magnets. So this one is from um, BCF. Now, um, when we first started magnet fishing, um, we found it really hard to get magnets. So when we started back up again, we went online and found that there were some Australian companies that started selling them. So this one is from BCF. Um, they do boating, camping and fishing gear. And we found this one just by fluke on the shelf and we thought, beauty, we'll get this one. So it comes as a kit. And in the kit, um, it comes with a magnet, a rope, um, the screw locks, um, some gloves, and a bottle of the thread locker. So I'm gonna unbox it and see what we got. So that's the like the thread locker. It's like a glue that um, glues the, the thread, the thread itself. itself onto the magnet, so you don't lose your magnet and it doesn't come apart. The screw doesn't doesn't it tightens the screw up basically. And uh, wow, fancy gloves. The tie is too, but it looks like. We've got a pair of gloves. Probably only going to fit me. Don't think that's going to be at your size. No. Nah. Put that there. That's right. And Sorry for all the plastic noise. And this is the thread, so it comes with. Um, I'm not anchor point. That one of these as well to anchor onto your magnet. Now, well, look at that, guys. How many meters would that It doesn't rope actually be? say what that rope will hold, so I'm not sure what that will hold. Like when you're pulling out, so they don't actually put that. But I'll check the instructions. Put in eight, guys. Put in eight. Cute one. And that's the little magnet. So it is um, supposed to be, I think it is both sides, like bottom and top. So I'd and that's say it's a single cute sided, Alison. Single sided, you think? Yes. Okay. So how many kgs would this guy be? That one up? is 180 kgs. 180 kgs, that's similar to so our. So they call our it other a one. they call it a, um, a starter kit, so It'd be pretty much just if you're starting out and for kids and things like that, because it doesn't have a 180 kg is not a very big pool. So um, it'd be really good for kids. Um, and if you're just starting to do magnet fishing. Now I did have looked online, King Kong is, I think is an American company. Um, they do do bigger magnets, but you would have to order them from America through their website. But these are really good. Um, to pick up here in Australia um, and you, you can buy them in the store so you don't have to really wait for ordering times and things like that online so which is really good if you just want to give it a go and have a bit of a start with it. Good thing about it if you drop your fishing knife in the water while you're fishing pick one of these up. I'm just seeing if no, they don't have anything on what the weight of this rope. So I'd we will try this rope. We're, we're going to try this kit and see how it goes. But yeah, it's really important to know what the weight of your rope is so that, you know, if you're pulling out something heavy so it doesn't break or snap or, you know, just deteriorate a lot quicker. So yeah. Okay. So, so that's the starter kit. Ooh. Oops, oops, it's stuck on the table. Wow. I'm looking forward to this, Alison? Yes. What are we um, doing? We're unboxing the hooks. The grapple hooks? Grapple hooks. We've never used it before on any of our 
videos before, but we did find what we find. Uh, just a just it's a hook an and hook. did it ourselves. We ordered two. Maybe Alice can unwrap that one. Ooh. Okay. Well, I didn't like that. I did not like that. This came off straight away. Mm. Little pin to it. I might have to change that. I, I really don't like that. I've got a feeling that'll break off. Mm, not too bad, and this thing locks in place. So basically. Yeah. Throw it in the water. Oops. Anchor. Now okay, so lock it in place. This. There. There's your hook. So it's sort of, that's what it looks that packed up. And that's what it is when it's open. We will give that a go, guys. Yeah. I just don't trust this little bit. I might have to get a stronger one. I really don't feel confident with that, that little piece there, especially the screw. Doesn't seem right. Seems flimsy. Other than that, everything else seems yeah, seem, quite... seems all right. Seems sturdy enough. How many kgs was it? Um, 0 0.7 for the two or point, yeah. point 0.9 for the two? That's pretty light, guys. They're pretty light. And it looks like it had... Yeah. yeah. So we're going to give these a go. We've never tried them before. So basically, if we need to hook onto something that we need to pull out, that's what these are going to be used for. So we're going to give them a go. They're, they're anchors that they use for kayaks, um, for small boats. So we're just going to try them and see what they they do, really, and see if they do work. We wanted it because they fold and they're not so big and chunky because the one that we we made years ago was like too big and chunky and like really heavy. So this one's not too bad. So we'll give Oh, hang on. There's a weight on it. It's point... 0.7 kilos. That's pretty light. 0.7 for this, kilos. For this thing, it's it'll it'll probably pull a lot more, but <clears throat> that's what this weighs itself. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So we'll Let's get that. to the big main attraction. The 1500 kg magnet. Here it is. Here. Excited. I am excited. Drum roll. Yeah, I'm not doing a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the moment. I had this next to the other magnet, it started sucking in. Our biggest magnet goes up to 500 kg. Is yeah, that right, Alison? I think so. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big one. I might keep these. Yeah, store them in. Store them in. But I tell you what, that is... That is huge. That is huge. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Have a look at that, guys. Huge. And that is a double-sided, too. You know what? We might use that, pass that liquid. Oh, yeah. oh we can do that later, but we'll... probably we will... do it now. <laughs> Let's hope that... Oh, maybe it's not open. Yeah, maybe we do it. No, it is open. It's coming, I can see it. Hands it. Probably give it time to dry too. Now we got this magnet um, through DickSmith.com.au. Um, it's an he's an Australian company, but we also and you can also get it from Kogan. Um, so, which is good. You, we did wait a while for it, but I think Ooh. that was. A lot of delivery delays and things like that um, but at least we're not waiting um, for overseas shipping anymore which is really good we can order it through an Australian company and it doesn't take as long because um, that was our biggest problem we couldn't get these big magnets in Australia through an Australian website so we did order from Matthias in, um, in was Germany, it, Germany. Um, he was quite good he was good but we're still it's still a long waiting time for yeah. us 
in Australia to do this. So it's nice to see a lot of Australian companies um, coming on board with the magnets and doing magnet fishing stuff, especially this little starter kit. Um, and hopefully maybe um, they'll, BCF will maybe do bigger magnets um, because they do, they do sell out. Um, they are, you know, we went to one store and there was like a whole heap on the shelf for the neck and probably a week later they were all gone. So, which tells me people are using them. Along the way, we will buy quite a few of these and do some giveaways. Yeah. Um, but just have a look at the dimensions on that. It's almost as big as my hand. <laughs> Let me feel it. Feel that. That's quite heavy, Alison. Oh. That is heavy. I'm not going to be able to throw that in. <laughs> I'll tell you that now. I think this is one's just going to be a bobbin. Yes. Or um, just basically a dra like dragging in or something. But when it's really heavy. It's not something I'm going to throw in yeah, straight away. No. I always start off with the baby ones, guys. Um, and if I can't get it out, I'll use something heavier. But I'd probably go with the 300 kg, then the 500. And if that doesn't work, throw something like this, this in. And if that doesn't work, I throw on the little grapple hook. hook. Um, but yeah, you're going to need some pulling power to get something like this out. Yeah. Uh, we did have a wench, uh, 2000 kg yeah. pull, but that's that was quite unsafe. Uh, we do have a wench going on to the, um, the Nissan uh, patrol up to 12 tonnes, so maybe we can use a, the wench off our patrol yeah. um, and do it safely. Um, there is... Yeah, yeah, these things are quite dangerous. I don't know so if you... So we would never probably <laughs> use a winch on this one? Yeah, I probably would you if probably it, if would, got stuck. You probably would, Yes. But something I, I wouldn't do, ready. guys, is getting two magnets together and sort of like playing around with it. I'm not sure if you've seen just recently, uh, one of the magnet fishing um, blokes had his fingers crushed, was in hospital, and it was quite, quite bad too. Um, he's quite an experienced um, magnet fisherman. And uh, remember the guy that um, mm. threw the, yeah. in the canal in Paris? Yeah. Yeah, he had his fingers. Yeah. So, so not... this magnet will live on its own and it probably won't come out with other magnets. Yes. Because we don't want that problem <laughs> of mm. getting it stuck or um, anything like that. So this is this magnet is for the more experienced magnet <laughs> even even if you, know, you are we experienced, are experienced you still got to take one, care we've got to take care and we won't let the kids t use it either like for bobbin but yeah we won't let the kids like these ones are pretty good are good for the kids but not this this big guy mm. so the other thing that we did actually get was a new um a new rope. This is going to be used for this one. Well, is this it? guy here, because this guy here is 1500 kg pull, you need rope that actually pulls out as well. This one's about 1600 uh, kg pull, um, in strength, so it's quite, um, it's more a towing rope, but <laughs> you need something strong to retrieve to actually get back your magnet rather than yeah. lose your magnet uh, because the rope that you used was. Um, what's the word for it? Not um, compatible. Yeah. So if you're using a 1500kg and your rope is only 200kg, that rope will definitely snap. So 1500kg uh, magnet pull with a 1600kg uh, rope um, stretch out, that makes sense. Yeah. I hope that makes sense, guys. Okay. And I think that is it. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Yep. And um, later on, sorry, later on, we will be doing some giveaways with this, with the starter kits, the King Kong starter kits. Um, we're waiting to, we've ordered some more through BCF, so we're waiting to, to receive those as well. So yeah, we will be doing these along our, our travels. So we haven't been doing any magnet fishing, guys. We've just spent the last four years doing home renovations. We've been buying our homes and renovating, selling. And we had a lovely time doing it, but this time we want to get out there and spend the next 10 years traveling. So along our travels, we will do magnet fishing. Uh, we spent quite a bit on new equipment, uh, yeah. photos, cameras, and so on. Yeah. Uh, so we're still learning along the way with 
uh, those sort of things, guys. I uh, will do a quick recording to show you where our magnets live now in the caravan. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah. Hold on, guys. You'll see very shortly. Thank you. Hi, uh, you guys. I'm just going to take you down to where all our magnets are going to be living. Okay. So this is the front end of our caravan. And they have their own little slide bench. And these are all our old magnets that, that we first had and they're all gonna live in here. And the new ones will eventually live in here as well. The good thing about it, it doesn't stick to this, this bottom tray. It's not, it's not metal. Not metal, so So this is where good. they're gonna live in a nice toolbox. Yeah, and they're easy so, to slide in and out. Mm. Just like that easy to get to. So if we're on the on the road or we see something on the road and we've got the caravan time we can pull over and just pull them out really easily. Excellent awesome. Okay guys we're heading off. Thanks for touching base. <laughs>